I'm Sylvan Kaufman. I'm at Adkins Arboretum today where I want to introduce you to the Black Hall Viburnum, Viburnum crunifolium. One of the first trees I fell in love with at Adkins Arboretum when I started working there was the Black Hall Viburnum prunifolium. It was planted on the bank above the wetland and pruned to be a single trunked graceful tree in the shadow, shade of a willow oak. Although I had probably seen Black Hall before, I'd never really noticed them. In 1918, H.H. Respy described them as one of the most ornamental of our wild shrubs, blooming in May when it beautifies the fence rows and hedges and the borders of woodlands with its profuse masses of snowy white flowers. It is not infrequently planted for ornament. The avid British gardener Peter Collinson in 1739 sent a letter thanking botanist John Bartram for sending him a black haw, and both Washington and Jefferson grew them on their estates. They grow in both wet and well-drained soils, and here in eastern Maryland, they're abundant along river shorelines and in floodplains. They flower more prolifically when growing in a sunny spot, but you often find them in shaded areas as well. They tend to grow as tall, multi-stem shrubs or as single-trunked small trees, and they can form little colonies from root suckers. The bark is usually gray in color and is smooth on younger trunks, turning rough and platy with age. The twigs tend to be grayish in color and smooth. The name black haw may come from the dark colored bark and the plant's tendency to form a hedge. Haw comes from the old English word haga, meaning hedge. In the spring, the cherry-like leaves appear. They often seem to be alternate, like they would be on a cherry tree, but if you look carefully, you'll see that most are arranged opposite. They're oval with toothed edges and red-tinted petioles, the stem-like part of the leaf that attaches to the twig. It's a host plant for the spring azure butterfly, the hummingbird clearwing moth, and sometimes the Baltimore checker spot, among others. As the leaves unfurl, the clusters of flowers begin to bloom. That's around mid to late April in Maryland. These types of flower clusters are called cymes, where the oldest flowers are at the top and new flowers grow from side shoots. The cluster of white flowers provides a welcoming landing spot for many different pollinators who arrive for nectar and pollen. Each individual flower has five petals and five stamens, and they're lightly fragrant. A cluster of fruits mature over the summer and eventually turn a dark blue-black, often with a waxy coating. The fruits are eaten by songbirds, including cardinals, bluebirds, and white-crowned sparrows, as well as by squirrels and chipmunks, gray fox, and deer. They're edible for people, but described by Fernald, Kinsey, and Rollins in Edible Wild Plants of Eastern North America as having thin and rather dry sweet pulp, which is palatable raw, although the stone is disagreeably large. The cooked pulp has not proved attractive, but it is possible that by adding some tart fruit to it, a palatable sauce might be prepared. The fruits are droops with a single large seed in the center. As they ripen in the fall, the leaves turn a dark crimson color. The viburnums have had a hard time finding their family. They used to be classified in the Caprifoliaceae, the honeysuckle family. But Caprifoliaceae are distinguished now in part by having flowers that are bilaterally symmetrical rather than radially symmetrical. Now, viburnums are usually classified in their own family, the Viburnaceae, or in the Adoxaceae, the muskroot family, which has five genera, including viburnums and sambucus, the elderberries. Blackhaw's closest relative is the rusty or southern blackhaw, Viburnum rufigulum, which has rust-colored hairs on the petioles and the backside of the leaf. The range of Viburnum prunifolium extends north, almost to the Canadian border. Viburnums generally make great plants for home landscapes. Besides blackhaw, possum haw, Viburnum nudum, grows as a tall shrub with glossy large leaves and colorful fruits. For shorter shrubs, try arrowwood, Viburnum dentatum, or the maple leaf Viburnum, Viburnum acerifolium, which turns beautiful colors in the fall. Beware of some of the non-native Viburnums that have become invasive, including double file Viburnum, Viburnum plicatum, and linden Viburnum, Viburnum dilatatum. 
Now I'll leave you with another view of Black Hall Viburnum along the Tuckahoe River in Maryland. All of the shrubs with the white flowers are Viburnum crinifolium. The birds calling are red-winged blackbirds, 